All right, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up real Microsoft call only ads. So most tutorials out there will try to show you the very basics of how to create a Microsoft call only ad. Unfortunately, they're missing some really, really big steps in order to get those actual call only ads. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the pros and cons of Microsoft ads, as well as the Microsoft call only ads system that they have in place. Next, I'm going to show you the call extension disparity. So this is one of the big limitations within the Microsoft call extension system. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you and explain to you what it means. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a basic Microsoft ads call campaign. Then we're going to set up the specific settings in order to convert it into a call only ads campaign. And then we're going to set up something that is extremely important that every other tutorial is missing as far as ensuring that the majority of your ads are call only. Okay, so this is one of the biggest steps. And this is one of the steps that took me quite a large amount of money and time to figure out. And then finally, one of the other major steps is that you're going to have to set up some exclusions in order to ensure that Microsoft ads is showing a call only ads version of your ads. And then once again, a review at the very end. So to begin the Microsoft ads pros, the benefits is that there is almost zero competition with call only ads on the Microsoft system. You can go ahead and spy within the Microsoft ads platform, but for the most part, you will never see, or you will rarely, rarely ever see a call only ad such as this. So this is exactly what it would look like. I've hidden the information because this is an ad that I'm currently running as well. And then once again, there is almost zero competition due to the complexity of properly setting up a call only ad. And some of the benefits of the Microsoft ads system itself is that sometimes the traffic is cheaper than on Google ads because it doesn't have as much traffic as Google ads, but this is not always the case. So because there's less traffic, sometimes there are still a lot of people bidding on those same keywords. So the traffic cost can still go up, but nonetheless, on the occasion, there is cheaper traffic compared to Google ads as well. One of the major benefits is that there is less irrelevant search queries that Microsoft ends up showing your ads for. So unlike Google, which is now showing even variations or close matches to your keywords, even with broad match modifier, Microsoft ads still tries to display your advertisements on keywords that are as relevant as possible, especially if you're using broad match modifier and especially if they understand the niche that you're advertising within. And then one of the other benefits is that Microsoft ads will show you all the search queries. Okay. So Google ads no longer shows you about 25 to 30% of your search queries, but Microsoft ads will still show you the search queries, whether they are clicked on or whether they are simply shown as an impression. So there's maybe around 50% of clicks that do exist, but maybe they weren't clicks on your ads themselves, Microsoft will still show you what people were searching for within their search queries, just based on impressions. And some of the cons or the issues with the Microsoft ads system, as well as the Microsoft call only ads, is that there is no easy method of call conversion tracking. So unlike Google ads, where you simply hit a couple check boxes and plug in your phone number. Unfortunately, Microsoft ads has not implemented a proper call tracking system yet. And it doesn't seem like it's currently in their pipeline either, according to their community suggestions and requests. And as well, even if you did want to set up a call conversion tracking system, you'd have to use a complex secondary platform outside of Microsoft ads. And I'm not going to go into detail over this in this tutorial. So another issue with Microsoft ads is that there is a huge overwhelming amount of fraudulent traffic that goes through their platform and that you still have to end up paying for. And this fraudulent traffic is one of the main reasons why your ads, instead of showing as call only ads, if you've ever set up call only ads on Microsoft ads, will instead show up as regular text ads. So I'm going to actually show you how to properly prevent the majority of this fraudulent traffic in order to display our ads as specifically call only ads. If you don't do this 
these specific settings within Microsoft ads, then the majority of your ads will just get fraudulent clicks and they'll ultimately end up showing as regular ads instead. And finally, Microsoft ads on the mobile devices has about 95% less traffic than Google ads, unfortunately. So most people have an Android and they use Google ads for that instead. And the Microsoft Bing browser is just not as popular on an Android device or even on a Apple device. So we are dealing with only 5% of the traffic of Google ads, but this is a huge advantage as well because there are also less advertisers because it's such a small traffic source and there's less competition. Even though there's less competition and less traffic, there is still a huge amount of traffic. Microsoft still makes about $5 billion per year from their search platform. So there's plenty of traffic still. Unfortunately, once again, it's only 5% of the traffic compared to Google ads. So the next thing I want to discuss really quickly is the call extension disparity. So once we start setting up our campaigns, we'll create our ad groups. So it looks very similar to the Google ads platform itself. We have our ad groups on the left side here, and then we have our clicks. And in this specific campaign over a 30 day period had 108 clicks on the ads within these ad groups. Now, if we go to the extension level, we can see that our extension, even though our ads were set up for call only within the ads themselves, only received 96 clicks. So even when our ads are call only ads, properly set up, set up for the absolute best settings for call only and we filter fraudulent traffic as best as we can with the technicalities that we can. So this is still a really good percentage because out of those 96 clicks, that means that 89% of our clicks were call only. So sometimes you get 100 clicks on your advertisements in Google ads, but only 70% of those end up going to a call. So in this case, we get 90%, almost 90% of our clicks resulting in a call. Now, of course, this also in indicates that this is just a call extension click. It does not necessarily mean a call. In order to determine that, you would have to go into your call tracking platform to determine how many phone calls you actually received. So while 89% of our clicks were call only, which was perfect for us, 11% of our clicks were re most likely the result of fraudulent traffic. So bots essentially spying on who's bidding and how much people are bidding on those keywords within the Bing platform itself. And unfortunately, the Bing platform isn't detecting whether the traffic is bot traffic or whether it's actual human traffic. So what's happening is that if you go into your search queries, you will see a long list of very repetitive keywords, very generic keywords as well. So in some cases, it would just be keywords such as lawyer and the name of a very generic city, such as lawyer New York and then lawyer San Francisco and then lawyer Chicago. So very, very generic search queries that ultimately don't look like what a human would ultimately type in. And as a result, 11% of our clicks ultimately end up going to our text ad and they ultimately end up going to our website, which is not something that we want. And even if we redirect those 11% fraudulent clicks directly into a phone call, we use the redirect to call method. Unfortunately, those clicks either way do not go into a phone call. So ultimately 11% of the clicks are just fraudulent generic bots spying on our ads. But unless let's go ahead and begin in order to get our call only ads to show up at least 90% of the time. And I'll show you exactly how to do that.